If you have a Fluke 80 series multimeter and the display is starting to get faded or parts of the digits are missing, I can show you how to fix that. To fix the display, what we'll do is replace this part right here. Actually, two of them. This is called an elastomer. And all it is is a piece of rubber or some kind of pliable insulation that has uh, wires inside. When you look at it close up, you can see that there's a, a lot of individual small circuits in there. And they run all the way through from one side to the other. So the first thing we'll do is take out the three screws on the back. Once the screws are out, I usually find that it works best from this corner down here. Just start separating it. And this rubber grommet here on the edge should come off with the back. Okay, be sure to disconnect the battery. Now you can just pull the whole circuit board and the LCD unit assembly right out of there. Now if for some reason these buttons came out with it, just go ahead and put it back in because you won't need it. Now we just need to take off this plastic piece that goes around the LCD unit. If you look on the ends, you'll see four little slots on each end. And there's a little tab that goes in each, each one of those. And that's what locks it into place. So you can see the other four on this side. To get them unlocked from those tabs, we just need to lift up on this side right where the tabs are. And just pull it out just a little bit. And it'll pop up. Once you've got this side unlocked, you can just lift it off of there. And now with that plastic piece off, you can see where the elastomer is used inside here. It's in between this glass on the LCD and the circuit board below it. So all we need to do is just lift up on the glass and that whole LCD display will come out. You can see the uh, circuit board connections down below. To remove them, all you have to do is grab them and pull them off. Now we'll want to clean this side really good before we put the new one on. You'll also want to clean off the contacts on the circuit board that's down inside. Now it's kind of hard to get to those. Now the manufacturer of one of these sets of elastomers say just to use the edge of one that you took out and rub it across the contacts. That'll just help remove any residue on there. The new replacement elastomers are gray in color, and I understand that they're supposed to be uh, improved also. So just grab one of the new ones, and then we'll put it down in the slot.
just make it make sure it goes all the way down and then put the other one in so now we'll go ahead and put the LCD display down on top of the elastomers but we have to make sure that we've got the right side up when we do it. In order to figure that out, you just need to look on the edge of both sides of the LCD. If I put this uh, used elastomer behind it, you can probably see it better. You see those lines? Okay, those lines and the number of them correspond directly with the number of contacts that are below the elastomer. Uh, on the circuit board. So if I show you this one, this one actually you can tell has fewer because it, it starts here and then ends right there. This side had has a lot more and it's pretty obvious. So we want to take the side that has the fewer number uh, and leave it on the bottom. So put it down facing down like this. So just kind of eyeball it so that it's centered and have this edge as close to the edge of this plastic as possible. It makes it easier to put that uh, plastic piece back on. So there we go. We got it kind of eyeballed, somewhat centered. Now we'll put the plastic piece on. So when we put this on, make sure that the side that has the curved corners goes to the top. Just like that. And put that side on first. Once you have it generally started, then we'll just go ahead and line those four notches up on this side with the little tabs that are underneath. You can kind of see them in there once they get started. So once you've got this side started, just keep pressure on it and then go to the other side and push down. You'll hear it snap into place when it's right. So now we'll go ahead and put that entire unit down inside of the front piece all right we'll put the battery back in and then we'll put the back back on and the three screws in all right now we'll turn it on and see how it works oh, look at that beautiful